Good Friday evening, everyone. Thank you for being with me. Why I give you some initial information about an active shooter that occurred in this mobile home park and our immediate response to that active shooter. It's important for you to understand, and, and I underscore, this is preliminary information and anything I tell you is subject to modification as the investigation unfolds. The information I present to you tonight is just like we always do to make sure it's timely, but it's not going to be complete because there's a lot of investigation still underway. It all occurred about 6.07 p.m. when we received a 911 call from a lady who said she was the wife of Michael Lohman, who is a 56-year-old white male. She said Michael Lohman was threatening to kill himself and threatening to kill all the deputies. Our deputies immediately raced to the scene when we arrived, there were neighbors out in the community. Our 911 operator clearly indicated to the deputies that now one of our victims, the wife of the suspect, was outside. Deputies found her hiding behind a black pickup truck. So they moved her to safety behind a large tree. Now, why is all this important? because she told our 911 operator, he has been outside shooting and he shot in the house and he just came back into the house saying that he needed to reload because he was gonna kill her and all of the deputies when they arrived. So once they hid her between, behind a very large oak tree, the deputies took up tactical positions. Michael came out of the house with his long gun, his rifle in hand. And when he did that, we shot him a lot. And that was the end of the gunfight. The investigation's underway. We had five deputies that made the initial response. They all arrived at the same time. They all ran immediately to the threat knowing that they were facing a man that told them, I'm going to kill them when they arrive. They ran to the threat anyway. They saved the woman. They got her out of the line of fire. After the shooting was over with, we had neighbors say, yeah, he came out and was shooting early, just before y'all arrived. And we heard the bullets whizzing by us. And then he went back inside and that's when he told his wife he was reloading and getting ready for the deputies when they arrived. So you know the information that we know at this point. We have the state attorney's office here to do a neutral and detached investigation. There will be a medical examiner's investigation. We have an administrative investigation by our policy and practices unit and then we're doing our investigation with the folks from our criminal homicide team. So all of these different investigations will come together. We will release more information to you on Monday. But at this point in time, clearly and unequivocally, our deputies rushed into an active shooter, was able to successfully move the lady to a safe position before he came out of the house and that's when we engaged him and shot him and we neutralized the threat. Are there any questions? How many deputies and how many shots? There were five deputies that responded. Four had tactical positions to shoot. It appears right now all of them shot with their AR-15s and we don't know how many shots that's under investigation and we'll know that later in the evening or maybe tomorrow. Was anyone else shot during all of this? No one was else was hit with the gunfire. He shot in the neighborhood. We have neighbors who said they actually heard the bullets whiz past them, but no one was hit. So there were other people who were outside at the time of the shooting? 
There were other people that were outside at the time of the shooting. We even have information that one child back toward this end of the mobile home park ran through the mobile home park to get out of the way as, as the gunfire erupted. And we're checking to see whether or not he discharged the weapon, his weapon first, or whether he only brandished it. And that's when we shot based upon all the information we had. And I, I can tell you the wife was a remarkable help to us because we could hear him screaming on the 911 call, I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna take them out. So at the end of the day, clearly and unequivocally, they knew that they were run into, running into a potential gunfight. We know that our suspect has one previous felony arrest that was drug related. We also know he has three pre previous misdemeanor arrests. And it's important to point out that we were told that he had been drinking alcoholic beverages this evening. That is still under investigation. We were told that we've got to confirm that through our investigation. Sheriff, was there any time from when he left the building and walked outside that deputies could have pleaded with him, put the guns down, put the gun down? When you've already engaged as an active shooter and shot at people and shot in the house and threatened to kill your wife and threatened to kill the deputies, and you brandish a firearm in the direction of the deputies, they're gonna shoot you, shoot you a lot. That's what they're trained to do, that's what they're instructed to do. They're not gonna sit there and hold a conversation with a guy with a firearm. It's too late, too bad for him. It's his choice. He chose for us to shoot him and we accommodated his request. Any other questions? That will be obviously one of a lot of questions we ask as the investigation goes on. Understand that, well, you know the time. We're like, what, three and a half, four hours after this shooting event occurred. So we're still fresh into it. But that's a very good question, and that's one that we'll be asking. Sheriff, from start to finish, about how long did all of this go on? Well, it started at 6, I think it was 6.07 p.m. And... From the time we arrived, we were able to immediately, they, they parked their vehicles at the front of the mobile home park and ran down to the suspect's mobile home where they found the lady hiding behind the pickup truck. Before they, before they approached him, they moved her to safety. They fully intended to have a gunfight. They, he promised it. He said it was happening. After shooting throughout the community, he went back in and reloaded. They got her to safety. He came out, and that's when the shooting occurred. Sheriff, I know you say you guys fired a lot, and you don't know how many times your deputies fired. Do you know how many times your man was hit? Don't know that either, but we will through the investigation. And can we get a spelling of his name just to make sure? His name is spelled Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, Loman, L-O-M-A-N. He's a white male, 56 years old. Thank you very much. We'll release more information. On Monday, we'll release the deputies that were involved in the shooting on Monday. The reason we're not releasing them tonight, they haven't had the opportunity to speak with their family or to be with their family. So that information will be released Monday morning. Okay, thank you very much.